Hi everyone! So today we will have our new lesson and our lesson is about Problem solving involving division of decimals and any other operations. Let's watch this. Since we are done with division of decimals, today we will discuss about the routine and non-routine problems involving division without or with any of the other operations of decimals and whole numbers including money. So solving problems is somewhat easy if you are going to follow the steps on how to solve the problem. Okay, so nung dati pinag-aralan natin the steps on how to solve the problem and what are these steps so the steps in solving word problem first we need to understand to understand the problem we need to find what is asked and also the given next after find, uh, understanding the problem we need to plan so ni pa plano natin so we need to find what is the operation that we are going to use and then we need to solve. After finding the operation to be used, so we will solve the problem. So, by finding the number sentence or writing the number sentence and then the solution. Lastly, answer and look back. So, meaning we need to give the answer and then check if our answer is correct. So, let us read and analyze the sample problem below. Study the steps used to solve the length of each song. While listening to music, Athena recorded that five songs in the radio she was listening took 17 and 25 hundredths minutes of airtime. What was the average length of each music? So from the given problem, so let us identify and answer by following the steps of solving word problem. So, in finding what is us in the problem, so the average length of each music. Then, the given facts is 5 songs or 5 songs and 17 and 25 minutes. Then, plan. So, determine the operation to for our formula to use. The operation is division. Then, after finding the uh, division, solution. Or the number sentence. The number sentence is 17 and 25 divided by 5. So, if we're going to solve that, the answer is 3 and 45 hundredths. To check and look back, so check your answer, state your answer. So, the average length of each music is 3 and 45 minutes. From the learning task, solve the given problems below. So, from number 1, DESA, Ann and D, both materials for their project were 276 pesos and 45 centavos. The girls divided the amount equally among themselves. How much is each share? So, ilan muna ang girls, DESA, Ann and D? So, may tatlong babae. Three girls, sila yung nag-divide ng uh, para makabuo ng project na worth 276 pesos and 45 Centavos. So, let us find out by solving the problem uh, following the steps. So, understand what is us in the problem, amount of each girl share. Then, the given three girls and then 276 and 45 worth of project. To plan, so the operation to be used is division. So, we will divide. Okay, to solve the problem, so, ang ating number sentence ay 276 pesos and 45 centavos divided by 3 equals N. So, we will divide 276.45 divided by 3. So, wala tayong kailangang i-move since the dynamic, uh, divisor is 3. So, let us divide. 27 divided by 3 equals 9. 9 times 3 equals 27. Bring down 6. 
6 divided by 3 equals 2. 2 times 3 equals 6. 6 minus 6 equals 0. Bring down 4. So don't forget to write the decimal point. 4 divided by 3 equals 1. 1 times 3 equals 3. 4 minus 3 equals 1. Bring down 5. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Then 5 times 3 equals 15. 15 minus 15 equals 0. So the answer is 92 pesos and 15 centavos yung share ng each girl. To check the problem, so from the quotient, 92.15, imumultiply natin sa divisor ng battery. Dapat ang sagot natin is the dividend. So, 3 times 5 equals 15, carry 1. 3 times 1 equals 3, plus 1 equals 4. 3 times 2 equals 6. 3 times 9 equals 27. So, that put the decimal point. Let us count. 1, 2. So, answer natin. Go to the left. 1, 2. So, 276 and 45 centavos. Pareha siya ng dividend. Another problem, Rico wants to buy a battery-operated toy car which cost 587 pesos and 50 centavos. He already saved 150 pesos. His Nino gave him 200 pesos. If he saves 12 pesos and 50 centavos a day from his allowance, how long will it take him to save the rest of the money to buy the toy car? So, what is being asked, how long will it take him to save the rest of the money to buy the toy car? Ang tinatanong is how long, gano'ng katagal, or ilang araw kaya? The given is 587 pesos and 50 centavos toy car cost, 150 pesos and 200 pesos. Ito yung na-save ni Rico from his allowance, uh, yung 200 from his ninong. 12 pesos and 50 centavos, he saves a day from his allowance. So, if we're going to uh, find the operation, the operation to be used are addition, subtraction, and division. So, which is which, which, is which ang uunahin natin? To solve, ito yung ating number sentence. From 587.50 minus Open and close parenthesis, 150 pesos plus 200 pesos, close parenthesis, divided by 12 pesos and 50 centavos. So, i-add muna tayo. Addition muna natin. I-add muna natin yung 150 pesos plus 200 pesos. So, 0, 0, 0, 5, 3. So, 350 pesos yung cash in hand niya. So, pwede na natin itong isubtract sa 587 pesos na price ng toy car. So, 0, 5, 7, 8 minus 5 equals 3, 5 minus 3 equals 2, 237 pesos and 50 centavos na lang ang kulang. Since mag-save siya ng 12 pesos and 50 centavos a day, so we will divide 237.50 divided by 12.50. So we can see merong decimal ang ating divisor. So we will move para maging whole number going to the right. So 1, 2. Ganon din ang gagawin natin sa divisor. 1, 2. So, magiging 23,750 divided by 1,250. So, dun tayo hanggang 5. 2,375 divided by 1,250 equals 1. 1 times 1,250 equals 1,250. O, subtract tayo. So, 5, 2, 3 minus 2 equals 1, 2 minus 1 equals 1, then bring down 0. 11,250 divided by 1,250 equals 9. 9 times 0 equals 0. 9 times 5 equals 45. 
9 times 2 equals 18 plus 4 equals 22. 9 times 1 equals 9 plus 2 equals 11. So, 11,250 minus 11,250 equals 0. So, the answer kung ilang days pang mag-save si Rico is 19 days. So, this lesson is come from came from the five book, 4A, second quarter, pages 26 and 27. Thank you for watching. Thank you, my dear Road to 1,000 subscribers. I am your teacher, Carmi, and don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye!